there. I'm Best Faniac from MessyMarriage.com and I'd like to start something new around here. As you can see, I'm going to be doing short little video segments on messy marriage topics and what I'd like for you to do is to go grab a cup of coffee when you see these video segments up and join me for Sloppy Joe time. I love, love, love. This is my favorite coffee cup. Love black and white chevron. It is the best. And I bet, I bet you're like, okay, I have an expectation that you'll get back to talking about something related to marriage. And I want to fulfill that expectation. I really do. Um, because I want to talk about expectations in marriage. Very often we have them, and we don't even know that we have them sometimes. Or we certainly don't verbalize them to our spouse and expect our spouse to read our minds. I remember back years ago, I would feel like, my husband would do something hurtful or maybe he would start an argument with me and I would think in my mind you know he started it therefore he should finish it he should be the one to come and apologize to me and so I'd be like this all over here you know whatever you know and he wouldn't know what in the world was going on we'd end up arguing about who started it or who needs to apologize first it was madness and so I realized it really doesn't matter who started it or who, who caused the problem. What matters is who's going to finish it and finish it well. Just like, like Christ, you know, he was one who, who finished well and he was always proactive. He reached out to whoever was around him and, and extended forgiveness and grace. He didn't wait on them to come to him. And I think he calls us as believing spouses to do the very same for our spouses, to not wait around, to beat our spouses to the punch, being kind, compassionate, humble, apologetic, joining our hearts together again with our spouses. And so the next time something like that happens, I'm going to challenge myself, but I'd like to challenge you too, to uh, be proactive and to beat our spouses to the punch on apologizing and being humble. So I hope you'll join me next time for Sloppy Joe time.